Hello internet viewers, my name is Tony Reaper. I am owner operator of Southern Thread Industries LLC as well as lead artist of the company. I'm also an artist with Vital Lyric Productions as well as their lead CGI designer and one of many sound engineers for them. Today I'm going to be going over a program I found recently called FaceShift. It is a markerless facial tracking software and though only in its beta stage, still a great program to use if you're looking to get smooth animations in a fraction of the time. The purpose of the software for me is to have something for lip syncing during 3D music videos, which is currently in the works as a cross collaboration between STI LLC and VLP. The software uses death cameras such as the Microsoft Xbox 360 Connect to track your face, so essentially you have a mobile mocap studio with four or five of these bad boys. Now enough talking, let's dig into this software. When you first open face shift, you see it starts off with this 3D head moving back and forth and back and forth. Occasionally you'll see this no face detected. It's all about going and making sure that you're the right distance from the connect or other depth camera you choose to use. Your best bet is to go into setup so that way you can set your camera up. Now with a PC like mine which is a really slow laptop uh, you wanna stick to the default setting because they still do the trick you know and if you scoot up in here you can actually move around and you'll notice that just for the default settings it's still getting a really good setup so I can move around in here and you know get that going and it's still gonna pick all that up and eventually put together a little bit of a model uh, you know now depending on the GPU that you can pull you know if you have a really good graphics card if you got dual quad core you know if you've got enough stuff to multitask or you know put a lot of power into this software then by all means use it with what I've got I tried to go I, I messed around with everything by the time I got to colored point cloud the software crashed it just went <coughs> that was it that was the end of it now once you get your settings situated the way you like them you're gonna go into training and you're going to see these different poses on the left and you'll notice that the 3d head over here basically goes through the pose and what you do is you situate the pose for what you're wanting say we'll go here to neutral and once it picks up your face you'll hold capture you don't press capture you'll hold capture and then you'll just rotate your head left and right just like this until it gets everything and then release and you'll see it's messed up because I was talking but you get a general idea it'll go and put together a, basically a, a point cloud system of your face. Now most of you probably like well, what's point cloud? Point cloud basically is with the Kinect and other depth cameras like it, it uh, shoots off basically IR beams and uh, depending on the time it takes for the beams to bounce off a surface and come back uh, depends on, uh, determines how close you are from the camera. It uses the IR to basically say okay well this moved back to the camera this fast this moved back to the camera this fast so forth and so on and that's how we know how close it is and we can give it a decent depth you know so you go through and you'll notice that if it's scanned properly you'll see this little check mark if not it'll still stay to this X but I'm not going to go through the whole list because it takes forever instead I'm going to go ahead and load the profile for the one that I've already completed just so you can see for yourself what you can do with it at the end you'll load the profile and this little pop-up will say boom tracking profile loaded awesome hit OK now we'll go to tracking this is where it gets fun now it, it's a little surprising because the model doesn't look like the old model by the time it gets done tracking all the points and everything and getting your face to track with it you'll notice that the head will look like you that's why I've got a chunky little head that's floating around in space so if you notice I can it's gonna 
move back and forth. Quit failing. Track. Give it a little bit. It takes some time. Like I said, slow computer, slow process. I've got other things running such as the screen capture and the webcam and everything else just to give you an idea. But you can see if I go, uh, uh, now he's being a dick and smiling. So as you can see, it's really cool. Mind you, it needs to be tweaked here and there, but in general, just for right out of the gate, you know, auto tracking, getting everything set up, it's still pretty darn close, minus the lag and latency and everything. Well, like I said, that's because everything else that I've got running, this computer is not meant for multitasking. I'll probably do a better screen capture when I have a better computer to actually do it all on and can handle to multitask between different software programs at the same time but you can go and you can set the neck to stay where it'll still move around you know and you can go and tilt the head back and forth and if the tracking would pick up you'd see that the head was tilting too but of course see oh there it goes oh sweet how about that how about them apples but it's not going to now. But you can set the neck to fixed, which would then make it to where only the face is going to move. The neck's not going to move. Or you can just make it a floating head and you move up to the camera and you'll notice that the... Come on. The head will move with you and everything. It'll all just float. It's crazy. But we're going to set that back to fixed neck. So as you can see really cool software I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this before I kill it and you're capable of doing a lot with it so it, it's got its benefits and it's a uh, 30 day trial full the full software you know there it's got full import export capabilities and everything else for 30 days and if you like it then you buy it you can go to faceshift.com. You can check it out. You fill out their little sign up form. Here, you fill out the little form, give them an email address, and they send you the download link with a license key for 30 days. So it it's really cool. Um, it's scheduled to be released as a full product this month. So you know that, that that tells you how hard they've been working on this getting everything situated if it's almost ready to be released completely for a full product you can still get the open beta while it's available and check it out for 30 days see if you like it if you got any questions any comments anything like that uh, feel free to get at me you can hit me up uh, on the comments of any video or under the video when I post it wherever I post it be it Facebook or Yahoo. Uh, you can look on Facebook. 
under the name Tony Reaper. Only one out there. Um, you know, shoot me an email, services at southernthreadindustries.com, whatever. I look forward to hearing you. Look forward to reading your comments, reading your questions, and uh, I might get back on here and respond to some of them if they seem good enough. So until next time, Tony Reaper signing out.